Ashida, the number four seats from Japan. And we will turn our attention to the match third from the top. And as you can see, two pairs from Japan into the quarterfinal, two from Korea as well. So uh, it's an exciting event, this women's doubles. players and court officials are making their way onto court. And it's uh, Chloe Birch leading all the players onto court with Lauren Smith to follow. And then it's uh, Matsuyama and she is then followed by Ashida. Japanese pair is making their first appearance at uh, the French Black Open. Or red. Uh, red, Black and the head to head between the two pairs is 1 0 in a favour of that Black. Japanese pair. Uh, besides, so the Japanese won the toss, they chose to serve. And that meant that uh, Birch and Smith chose ends. The first player up is Chloe Birch. She's 26 years of age. And uh, the partnership is presently number 13 on the world ranking and is based on 34 tournaments now. They have enjoyed four weeks as number 13 on that world ranking. Partner Lauren Smith is 30 years of age. Of course, the same ranking applied to the pair. They lost uh, the first round at the Denmark Open last week. But here, I think they have made amends. I think the, the match in the second round against Li Yanya of uh, Malaysia was a good win, 21-16, in that third and final game after 75 minutes of play. Nami Matsuyama is 23 years of age and uh, they are enjoying their highest ranking ever, this partnership. They have spent five weeks as a number nine and that is over two spells. Chiharu Shida is 24 years of age and uh, I think she's considering herself quite lucky to be here because she twisted her angle some weeks ago in Finland at the Sudirman Cup and had to withdraw in the Denmark Open as well. Last week they retired in the first round. So uh, I think she's ready now to play and they had a good run here in the first two rounds. Ready they beat play. their opponents in two straight games. So the umpire is... Laro off. And the service judge is better of Italy. Matsuyama here serving, won a bronze at the World Junior Championship in 2015 with her partner Shida, but in 2016 she won the gold with Hubara at the World Junior Championship.
Angle Man. On my right, Chloe Beards and Lauren Smith, England. And on my left, Nami Matsuama and Chida Rusida, Japan. Chida Rusida to serve to Chloe Beards. Love all. Play. So, she needed to serve to Birch. And it's a love all play. Yama and Ashida, they won the Chinese Taipei Open 2018, the Super 300 tournament. And in 2019, they won two tournaments, and that was the US Open and the Korean Masters, both of these tournaments, Super 300 tournaments. The English pair, the partnership was reformed in September 2018 and with immediate success, winning the Czech Open. And uh, they won a silver at the European Championship in uh, spring this year, 2021. Another very good start from uh, Matsuyama and Shida. Three, love. And this is definitely the favourite formation for Chloe Birch Service and Lauren over. Smith. Lauren Smith One, at the front of the court, three. interception. And that's obviously coming from her mixed doubles. She's a top ten player in uh, the mixed doubles with partner Marcus Ellis. Shida very efficient at putting the shots Four, away from the front of the one. court. So far, the English combination not really been able to follow pace with their <laughs> opponents from Japan. 5-1 down. Once again, the interception from Shida at the front, very Six, decisive. Two. That's wide. Definitely wide.
I think that was very interesting to watch because she was, she was actually doing the right thing and trying to block a shot to set up good attacking opportunities. She missed it, however, and straight away she said, oh, I just have to lift that one. And, uh, I'm not sure I totally agree with her. Of course, not making the mistake, but nevertheless, I think the idea was really good. And look at that, again, signaling that, you know, just lift it. And they've been so successful so far in attacking. See there, the lift. There we saw and got a taste of the interception from Lauren Smith at the net. Landed in, called in by the line judge. Misjudgment from Lauren Smith. Nine, six. Setting up a nine, six lead in favor of Matsuyama and Shida. Good smash from uh, Matsuyama. And she has a lead of 11 6 in just seven minutes of play. あげてくれないから、どっちが右膝上げてくれたら時間下がる時間あるから、最悪の場合上げても構わないから、ハーフきちんと止めれるように全部ここここを気をつけて前後だったらこれやられるから、どっちにかけてあげていいのかは前と後
Oh, confusion. Smith was running forward. Good defensive work from Matsuyama. Yeah, that's a good one. Good play by Lauren Smith down Service the line over. on that smash. Very, Eight. very decisive. Well. is high enough I think uh, Birch and Smith have, has got a case if they can force their opponents into error but they need to play fast enough <laughs> and that's long on the back line 13 9 it's Sheila to serve. Hey. And that's good awareness. That's very, very good awareness from Matsuyama. Once again, it was lifted along on the back line. Perhaps there's a little bit of drift. And uh, Birch and Smith are standing on the faster end of the court. Yeah, I would have been surprised if that was not called a fault. It's the way that Sheeda was lifting up that serve as and when she was serving. That was fairly easy to see. Setting up a five point gap. 15 15 10. Do not get away with that shot from Service Lauren Smith. Over. That was a little bit 16, asking 11. for trouble in my book. Especially when you see how Matsuyama is standing quite far back and not too close to the net. Oh, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful return. Awesome. That's really well played. Play. Now 
Isaac with shot. 13, Trying to have a look at this one. Perfect, perfect block shot from Chloe Birch. And I think the partnership, if it needs to develop further, the English pair, they need to have Chloe Birch to play a little bit more winners. It's very, very much depending on Lauren Smith to score the points. Yeah, the creative one here was definitely Matsuyama. Trying to have a look at this one here. It's coming here, that one there. That's the creative shot. It's opening up the defence of the two English players. And it's an easy kill for Shida at the front of the court. away from taking the opening game, 19-13. And it's very good to see that uh, Sheila seems to be OK in terms of her ankle injury. Moving very swiftly around the court. Kept them out of the Uber Cup. And of course, at the Denmark Open, had to retire at the first round after just a few points 14, save the first game point 14, 20. still another six to save for birch and smith being 20 14 down now in this opening game So the first game goes first game to won by Matsuyama and Shida. 21-14 in just 17 minutes of play. And uh, now it's up to the coaches to do their magic. Only feel good. We lost, but it's not far away. Okay? When we're getting them in the court, we push. And don't feel bad if something doesn't work. They're going to play good shots. We've got to take risks to get the points against them because they are solid. So how we're turning in defence is good. But they've not done any kills really, only in bad luck. So be confident. You're in mid-court or that, you're like, feel the block. They just play an edge shot. And that's where we're in. So like, you're going through. Don't feel bad it doesn't work because we've got to tie them. Because if we just lift up and defend, we're going to be in trouble. But your defence was so much better because you're lifting, we're stretching them. So it's like over and block, stretch. Drive through, okay? Yeah, they're going to have chances, but we're getting mistakes that way. Otherwise, they're just quite solid and give us nothing. So, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But we've got to play with an element of risk. Make them hit hard shots. See if they're up to it. The tighter it is, the more mistakes we'll get. Attack's good. Maybe just take a step back because they're not yeah, really blocking close. on you. Yeah. And then you can hit from front. I wouldn't change too much. If we want to change the angle, I'd change for a winner. Yeah. To finish sometimes. Otherwise, we just keep pressuring on the same person because they're struggling a bit to get away. Yeah. They might do it half court, and then one hit, we press together. If it goes over, we can just clip down and go again. We just patient, build our attack, and then really try to press it home. Once we get the attacking one, we press together because that's when they like to block and turn. Yeah. Okay. Court one, 20 Stay positive seconds. in the whole thing. Court one, 20 seconds. I think that was very, very solid advice from. Bubba Blair at the bench behind the two English players. You got to play with a, an element of risk, and I really like that Second a lot. Game. A lot of the other things set as well. I do agree. The Japanese play. player is not blocking any shots, so why have your front player that close to the nets and so forth? Very good advice indeed.
it's over. One all. Yeah, that's lovely placement from Chloe Birch. Two, one. And the forehand side of Sheeda. She's got a strong tendency, Sheeda, not to fight for any sort of initiative. Simply just lifting as soon as the slightest sign of pressure. And now the Japanese pair have to watch out a little bit due to the drift, possibly a small drift alongside the court. And it looks like that the Japanese are playing with the drift now. This is a long, long rally. <laughs> and Bircher Smith, I think, are following the advice of their coach, playing more risky shots, taking it to their opponents a lot, lot more, and are definitely getting rewarded for it. This time, the smash is on the forehand side of Matsuyama. Yeah, look at that one. Can't defend it. Play. Good flick serve. Yeah, this is much, much better start from Birch and Smith. In this five, second game, 5-1 up now. Yes. Lauren, Lauren, can you put it inside me? The shuttle, please. Yeah, she's good interception. Two, five. On her overhead. She's doing really well, Sheeda, on that. And here we saw a little bit of the sign language when it comes to serving. And please don't ask me what it means. Once again, following the advice of the coach to keep attacking the same player unless they really want to try to go for a winner with an angle shot. And just don't spread the attack too much. 
and that's exactly what the English pair did on this occasion. Service over. Four, six. Seems like the drift is playing a little bit of a part in this uh, second game because Seven, the attack four. from the English players is definitely better. And perhaps it's because that uh, their opponents are a little bit scared of the back line and therefore perhaps not playing it all the way to the back. Yeah, along on the back line. Good return of serve from uh, Matsuyama. Yeah, this time Chloe Nine. Birch took the chance on the back line. It was a good lift, solid all the way to the back of the court. Right on the line. This time, once again, we saw Shida, how she's over. closing down that mid-court area Seven. so efficiently. Ten. Yeah, look at that. That's really well played. Closing the gap to three points, but uh, the Japanese definitely have to start to play a little bit better. Tactic. Because I don't think this Seven. is the way forward for them, and now they're 11-7 down at the mid-game interval. But how we're stretching them and then really getting down low. Attack's been great. Again, the simple ones in the line, 11, so you're doing well there. 12 minutes and then the occasional one that goes across to the other person and then splitting. Yeah. What I'd like to see is always that stagger, because at the moment they're trying to turn, they're not really going up and over. They're a bit faster. So it's always, if you go at one, they try and turn. So if you let coming off in the cross just stay and you press up so we always got you can go across again and look for the other person to finish okay but keep on top of them there it's shaky they don't really know what to do and it's all about us imposing on that midfoot
That's definitely an element of risk played by Chloe Birch. Very, very tight reverse drop shot from her. And look at how that shot is stretching. She absolutely to the maximum, not able to get it back. But that's a beautiful return from Matsuyama finding that mid-court area. This is becoming crucial for the two Japanese players. 14 9 down now. 14 and they nine. really haven't found any sort of recipe to counter the situation against their opponents from England. That is definitely not helping on that service error from Shida. Trailing by six points now. 16-10 for Birch and Smith. And that's stayed in for sure. The Japanese duo have not really been able to tire out their opponents from England. And so far, that seems to be the only kind of plan that they have. So it will be very interesting to see what's going to happen in the third game, because I think we will be treated to a third and final game. And they definitely need to find some answers with their coach in that interval. Smith is kind of returning the favour to Sheeda, and she made a service error as well.
Yeah, that's a good interception from Matsuyama. Much more decisive. Found the gap very nicely. But not without a small confusion there. But this one is really excellent. And yet another 19, service error, 13. this time from uh, Matsuyama. trailing five points it is definitely going to be now and that's one that's a beautiful follow-up from Sheila Chloe Birch 19. sorry Lauren Smith had her back too much towards the net which I think meant she didn't really see that Sheila was rushing forward Well, game point has arrived. 20, 20 game, point, game 15. point, 15. We have a challenge. It's called out. Nami Matsuama challenges. Called out. I somehow think that that might be in because it looks like the English pair is not really leaving the court. But yes, it's in. It's a good challenge from uh, Matsuyama and Shida. Save the first game point, but they still have to save. Another four. Saved two. Game points, still another three to go. Fighting spirit there from Chloe Birch. And that's wide. Yeah, that's very wide indeed. Yes, yes. Asking to towel down, getting the court marked, sort of giving themselves a little bit of time to recompose. Because three game points have come and gone. And they still have another two. How befitting, in a way, that this game was finished by a service error from Matsuyama and Shida. Yet another service error, which means that Lauren Smith and Chloe Birch take the second game, 21-18. And the game has lasted now 40 minutes.
逆にスムーズになってるねちょっと意識しすぎな部分がちょっとありすぎるねで今のパターンで全然全然いいじゃんで落ち着いてハードあと少しスペースあったら早めにスペースすることの方がいいとねちょっと意識して全部スムーズ待ってるからまだクリアまだ後ろあるでしょこれ前ブリージのところも落としても全然構わないからね、ここもうちょっと修正すればいいですねもう一回頑張ってでまだ立て直すね、はい Yeah, we just saw the game Code point. One, the service Code too short. One, and uh, we are ready to commence the third and final game after 40 minutes of play. And it's Lauren final Smith game. of England to serve against uh, Chiharu Shida play. of Japan. Good cross court smash from Shida. Service over. One all. Yeah. Play the attack on Chloe Birch first. This first one, second one, and then going cross. No, the third one as well, and then that's the cross coming. Good tactics from the two Japanese. Shot from Lauren Smith, just clipping the top of the tape, badly deflected. Good reactions from Japanese players, but it's not enough. That's the one.
Yeah, very decisive Second at the net. Over. Once again, focused and very good play there from Lauren Smith. Yeah, we need the court to be mopped. And there's virtually nothing between these two pairs in the third game so far. 5-4. And it's Vasiyama to serve. This time is called in. Skim the top of the tape onto the line. Try to have a look. This is perfection. Yes, on the line. But when she needed the most in that second game, the touch did let her down. Yeah. Chloe Birch is absolutely right. That is wide of the centre line, but the uh, umpire was onside it, which means that we will have the instant review system to adjudicate it. That is a massive surprise to me, I have to confess. Yeah, that's good play. Good play by the two Japanese here. Very proactive. And having won the last four points, make that five points now. They were 5 4 up. And ten, suddenly now it's 10 4. That's wide, which means that Nami Matsuyama and uh, Shiharu Shida goes to the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-4. And it will be interesting to see whether Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith can re-find some of the form we that, saw them the take the second game. Just don't back off and think I can play safe. Safe isn't going to win, it's just we're going to take longer to lose in this. So when you're going forward, talk to yourself, please intercept, look for it. When we're back there, you go, it might feel dangerous, but you're like, I'm going to take it on because the better shot you play, I was going to say the more mistakes we'll get for them. So I almost want you up that court, forget the back, play like no lift. Yeah. Say everything's going to be here, we're going to block. So I think that we will see a very aggressive English pair starting off here after the interval. As Robert Blair was saying, play like there's no back. That means almost two players to the front of the court.
Yeah, the pressure's on. Good play by Matsuyama and Shida. Adding on even more pressure. Three first points after the interval. Gone the Japanese way. And that's wide. Service over. 5-14. But it is interesting to see how Shida's turning around to her coach all the time after every single shot and rally almost. Great sign of insecurity, I think. Service over. 15-5. So it seems this match is going according to ranking. Lauren Smith challenges. Uh, the number Go nine out. on the world ranking is beating number 13 on the world ranking. We have a challenge, and it's out. Challenge Thanks. unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 16-5. So it's now 16-5 for Japan. Yeah, it seems to be going in double quick time now. Couldn't even get that one down. Doesn't look good from an English point of view. Yes, just two points away from uh, taking this final game for Matsuyama and Shida. And now just one point away, 20 match point seven.
uh, saved the first one. But in all honesty, it's pure cosmetics. 8.20. Still have another 12 to, to save, which is uh, an impossibility. But let's see how it goes. To double figures, 10 20. Call long on the back line. <laughs> so we are waiting for the instant review system. And it's definitely in, which means match over. Which means that Matsuyama and Shida wins in three games. 21-14, 18, 21, 21, 10. 21-14. 18-21-21-10. So the English pair had a very, very good second game where they kind of managed to change their tactics and really upset, in my book, perhaps, the favourites in this match. But they were not really able to follow up on that fine performance in the third game. And it became a very much one-sided affair where Matsuyama and Shida won 21-10 in that final game. And here we have the smash. It's called in by the review system, not by the line judge. And here we got the confirmation, 21, 14, 18, 21, 21, 10. In 59 minutes of play for Matsuyama and Shida of Japan. And the next match coming up is a men's singles, Kenta Nishimoto of Japan against Cho Chen Chen of Chinese Taipei.
And welcome back to the French Open 2021. It was an exciting women's doubles match. We just witnessed 59 minutes and Matsuyama and Shida safely through to the semi 